This has got to be Slug's trailer. I'll scout ahead. Wait! Welcome back to Let's Play Transformers Fall of Cybertron. Grimlock and Swoop are currently on the trail for their other teammate Slug. The previous level I'm was gonna make it, I'm gonna make it. Oh, I can never make it. It's not designed to do that. Right. Let's split up. We'll find Slug faster. But Grimlock! That's an order. Go! He's a lot more coherent this time. I think he's gotten used to his new form. Yeah, he's, um... As the previous level in this level Oh, by the way, on, I'm playing this level, so... Yeah. As the previous level in this level go on, you actually... Oh, man, it's LV426 all over again. <laughs> but you can actually hear Grimlock getting used to being in his new shell, so to say. Voices. Oh, um, go forward. Right in here? Yeah. Right in here, there is an audio log. I always say it's an audio log, I don't know what it is. I'm pretty sure that one was an audio log, though. I like the fact that you can control wherever this thing, this sword goes. Yeah, I really like... I mean, we didn't bring it up last level because we were busy kind of talking about how Grimlock's characterization was a whole lot better compared to his G1 incarnation. Yeah. <gasps> but yeah, you can actually direct wherever you slice and dice and Julian fries. And Though I really wish that last bit was like an area attack. It's more like a... Yeah, at least a little bit of an area. It feels more like it's conal, but I can't really say to it. Hey, Teletran! Ooh, Teletran, me check out. Grimlock me for that. That's what Grimlock thinks of Teletran. It always it always charged too much for everything anyway. Well, that's just because you never... I didn't mean to do that, <laughs> but I did it anyway. That's just because you never bought that one thing that reduces cost. I knew it. So many eggs. Yeah. Like I said, LV426. I'm gonna say that's a, uh, alien. Again, uh, yeah, it's aliens. LV-426, that's the planet Asheron. Yeah. I finally actually remember the planet name this time around. Hey! All the way back from Chapter 5. <laughs> that was Chapter 5? Yeah, it's Chapter 5 with Jazz. Okay. He's, I know you wanted me to, like, put that in, but I didn't because I... Maybe I had already edited that video. Yeah. By then. Yeah. I don't like this. Eggs are everywhere. Oh yeah, we just didn't figure out what that insecta uh, insecticon, not insecticon, that uh, phobia of insects is called. Yeah, I'll probably um just edit that in. Hey, yeah. future Naka, edit that in. Oh, okay. <laughs> Again, gotta keep in mind that this is essentially robots doing this, but you have to figure. Try that with something that's organic like us, and then well, kind of realize that this got, what, a team rating? Well, on the upside, they are insects. They're not like Well, it's people. like doing it to an animal, but it still kind of has that intent of it being kind of disgusting. It's, you're doing it to a very large, like, beetle that really doesn't like you. I don't really like it much. It's at least not as bad as, like, doing it to a person. I'm not going to say it's not a little gruesome, but... Not quite as bad as doing it to a person. That insecticon down there. That poor Decepticon. Yeah, it's, it's not very... I kind of feel sad for him. I, I'm curious why there are Decepticons down here, because oh. they have to realize that the Insecticons are going to eat them. You just do that every chance you get. I like it. It's very well done. Also, I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm just. <laughs> also, I just want to. I want to get everyone to realize that how grim this is for Grimlock. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay, that sounded like the Zelda thing. <laughs> also, didn't bring it up because you didn't really do it a lot. If you do the executions, you actually get an energon cube out of it. Yeah, you do heal yourself by doing it, sort of. By ripping an energon cube out of them. But still. Rip. 
Also, wham. you'll notice that animation is different for every enemy. It's not just a standard... Like, yeah, like this one, he actually just, like, rips them apart. With the Decepticons, he just kind of, like, grabs them and just stab, stab, stab. So many insects. I want to say, though, especially in comparison to something that happens later on, which we'll get to when we get to, I really like how... how you can aim Grimlock's attack. The sword. Because, yeah, because you get swarmed and like, there's a dude behind you, but you're mid-combo and you're not like committed to attacking where you were attacking. You, you can turn around mid-combo and hit that dude behind but you. But your combat efficiency has only marginally improved. Your failure to change forms hinders your progress. Then show me how! The Insecticon Kickback has volunteered to assist you in unlocking your full potential. I remember you, Green. Do you remember me? 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 <laughs> In the original G1, it was a character uh, quirk. In this one, it's creepy. God, it's yeah. like what you hear before a serial killer finally kills you. Yeah, that's just that's just creepy. I think there was something back here if you actually bothered to get back here. Yeah, maybe. I don't remember. Maybe. Probably was. It seems like one of those things that's like out of the play. Out of yeah, place. Yeah, just out of the way enough. But Grimlock is strong enough. He can just topple that pillar right over. Pop, 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 you gone. <laughs> I wanna Arr. say I wanna say you could hit him there if you tried really hard. I tried, but I hit the ground too hard. Yeah. Maybe if you attacked like in the air. Hmm, maybe. Purr, rawr, wham. Once again, we have to put you in your place. Uh that's not what Shockwave said. Oh, look, Grimlock. It's as big and tough as you. <laughs> Crush you! Now, these guys actually take quite the beating. These are the bruisers that we saw earlier. And you can't actually hit them with your execution attack. I meant the dash, I forgot the button. <laughs> It's, it, this is the bullfighting enemy. It's the one you have to go like, uh huh. Yeah, dodge out of the way. They ram into a wall. You stab them in the butt. You said you can execution them? No, you can't. Mm. Not in this form, at least. Like we did in the Sea of Rust. So much rage. <laughs> now in this form, you can execute the shit out of them. And breathe fire. I always figured breathing fire probably wouldn't do a huge amount on, like, metal things. I mean, you get hot enough temperatures, it'll burn anything, but... Actually, yeah, somebody brought that up in the comments of that, uh, yeah, see? Oh, dang, <laughs> I meant to grab. Wrong yeah. one. Whatever. Now you can execute them. <laughs> ah! And if you also just swing the... You have your regular combo, and that combo... This combo, unlike his untransformed form, is a little more... Okay, get back where you to take my leave. Excuse me. <laughs> Movie Slug, reference. You look terrible. I feel terrible. Shockwave really messed me up inside. But I'll survive. Me too. Okay, finish your thought real quick, so I got a couple to bring up here. Okay, I was just gonna say, as opposed to Grimlock's normal form as a um, Tyrannosaurus, his combo is committed to an arc. Hmm. You can't, like, change 
completely change direction mid combo. Two things. I kind of don't want to waste too much time here, so I'll just move around. I'll get to you in a second, Slug. Uh, in his transform uh, form, uh, his voice actor Greg Brager hmm. sounds more like he used to in the original G1 cartoon. Hmm. You can actually tell he sounds like he's struggling a lot more for this one, but Dino Mode, he's like that. Uh, second thing, I want you to all go back and watch Slug transform. If not, you'll see him later. You'll actually notice that his transform form is bigger than he is in his robot form. Mm. So he actually size changes for that. Hmm. One of the few times they do it, but it happens occasionally. I do like how he actually sword for leverage. I do, I, yeah, I do like how he actually does that with his sword and just does that. And the shimmer broke. Whoops. You took too long. And then we were magically up top. Slug! I have no idea what happened there. I don't even know if yeah. you bring that in there. H have we mentioned that this game is just like a wee bit buggy? Uh, there's the space bridge. I don't even think they call it a spra uh, space bridge. I mean, we know it is, but I don't think they know it's called like the a space bridge. Mm. It is. You were right. The Decepticons were after it the whole time. And Optimus was wrong. Well, they can't be right all the time. Yeah, I mean... Alright, let's go take care of crap. Can't just stand around all day. Oh, I mean, I could, but that'd get boring after a while. Alright, Grimlock. You don't seem like... You You've established that. Fine. We need to find Snarl. Let's move! I may have an idea where they've taken him. I think those things you can kill. Yeah, that's not indicative of anything that's going to happen soon. Oh, joyous day. And your shield goes back up there because that actually did some minor damage to you. I mean, it's like rust corruption stuff. Also, in here, you'll find these little pods. They give you stuff for your rage meter to transform. Because Grimlock can't transform all the time. He has to build up rage for it. I think they did it because they didn't want to overuse his robot his uh, dino mode, but I think it kind of works out, but it feels like it. Wow. Yeah, I never noticed that before. There's a lot of them. There were. <sighs> but, uh, yeah. You pop those two, you get these three, you should be able to get enough to get enough to transform here whenever you get the chance. Yeah, instead of just giving him a regular transformation mode. Though I actually... Again, and I want to say some of this came down to just how the combo system works as one or the other. I think I actually prefer playing as regular Grimlock. Also, after you get Dino Mode unlock, every Insecticon from then on will actually drop the Rage Chip, so don't worry, you got plenty to work with. Slug, look out! Those things are tough! It's a real nice shoulder pad you got there. It's a lot tougher. That is a nice shoulder pad. Yeah. I think it's it's his arms are actually his legs in dino mode. Yeah, if you didn't if you didn't see, that was um Slug was up there fighting a bruiser, and he just kinda pummeled his way through him. Timing puzzle! We get it. We get good eventually. Grimlock keep throwing things until door opens. Ah. ah, the flyers are back. I'm taking fire. Hold on. I've got an idea. Okay, so you gotta go around Grimlock, to the left to uh, take out the three flyers. There's not much you can do in range. I guess you could transform and lick fire breath them. But it's uh And then distract them! that one straight down the middle. And there's a uh, thing there you can throw at him. As he wow, that there. guy was... And there's Slug. There. Oh no, spinners! More of them! Carefully, gonna fall off the ledge there. Oh, I was trying to grab this thing, but... Keep mixing up my button here. That thing's got some area to it. 
Yeah, it's, it's like an electrical field, so... Darn it. Ah, make Grimlock mad. Yeah, I mean, I'm already mad. I've just got, like, a full rage meter, but still. You're not exactly helping yourself here. Do you go all the way around, or am I missing him? Um, hey, Slug, here's a present for you. That's for deserting us. Oh, and I was trying to remember, like, who Snarl even was, and it's like, oh, right, Snarl, right, I got it now. Yeah, I we haven't it. seen Snarl yet. All we know of is Grimlock, Swoop, Slug, and Sludge. Sludge is actually Sludge the, was one the one that, that was in Jazz. Yeah, that Jazz found came across in Chapter 5. Now, Sludge is actually an established dino bot. He has an alt mode that is a dinosaur. But in here, it was seen that he was taken out before that he's, happened. He's kind of assumed dead, but. Really, yeah. can't really say. We don't know that for certain, though. Because, I mean, he did drown under all that toxic waste, so... They did say, or Jazz said, that he was in stasis. Hmm. He wasn't dead. So... Well, I don't know if stasis could help him from, you know... Yeah. But, may still be recoverable. Also, there's a reason for that, and we'll get to it when we can see his schematics. Yeah. Because we can we actually come across their schematics along the way. Grimlock smash! 